Hello everybody and welcome to an Elite Dangerous live stream. That was the surprise intro that we're bringing to you this Monday because I was not ready or realising Stephen was going to press the button. You did realise I was pushing the I really button. Liked. I was going, you Huzzah. went, go for it. Go for it, ready. We're being excited. Ready. It's Monday and we're really excited to go. We are. We yeah. are excited to go. It is Monday. I am Will Flanagan, community manager here at Frontier Developments and I am joined, of course, by Stephen Benedetti, who is also, as you know, community manager here at Frontier Developments. Apologies for the overexcitement. <laughs> we got really excited there. We, yeah. yeah, we got very excited. The, the surprise was you yelling really loud all along. Yeah. That's the that's the volume, my own personal volume. We're, we're on time. Yeah, we're on time, and that was the main thing. And we don't want to shout too loud. That's why they put us in this room to keep us quiet. Yes, everybody, everybody we're sorry for your ears. Sorry, apologize. Um, I've got to wear this today. What is this? So this was gifted to, to us. Um, so I'm going to try and can get you hold one, I'll, side? I'll hold one side? This was gifted to us at our uh, Frontier Community Meet in, at Gamescom. And I said, you know what? I'm going to wear that on a live stream. So here's a little shout out to these guys. Yeah, it looks really, really like cool. Like Dealer of Michelle and Colonia or Lomac. And they also gave us some, um, some soundtracks as well. Yes. So, They'll be, they'll be going up in the, the streaming room. But look at this. Like, so I'm going to wear it. It smells like a nice scarf. It's, it's good. I'm going I'm to keep it for winter. It is. It's actually really good quality. Winter is nice and thick as well. It's great. Yeah. I like doing this sometimes. We will play Elite Dangerous soon. I know. We're going to get there. We're playing with the scarf first. But I like doing this. Why is that? Is it just a bit? feels nice. Yeah. I definitely think this is a first. First stream. <laughs> Rubbing one's face with the scarf. Hey, guys. Uh, well, football, football club. I mean, yeah. Know anything about football, but maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same colours, but I wouldn't say it's the same thing. And where did you get this? Uh, this was gifted to me by I cannot remember the commander names, but it was by these guys, the group, mm -hmm. like dealer or likey dealer or like. I'd say like dealer. dealer. And then the other side has got some German on. Ah, oh. so it's to me to you, <laughs> to me to you. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> How did two people get like control of scarf for stream? Watch your hand on there. Uh. Look at that. How did you see that? Hockden. Becher? Hock den Becher. Or Lutvoran. How's our German? Hock den Becher. Or Becher. I don't know if it's right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get some comments. We're going to wear it. Yeah, we'll get some comments. <laughs> we'll get some apologies. Your, I hope that wasn't... German was terrible. I hope that wasn't a bad word. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to not Trying deafen not you all correct. again. Uh, should we play some Elite Dangerous? I think we should. Let's jump right in. So, what are we doing today? Well, we are getting this. So, the reason we're on time and, and available... Um, do you want to come a bit closer? Are you scared of me? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, it's one of those Mondays. I haven't been on a live stream for quite a while now. Well, we were thinking the last live stream that we did was on Thursday because Monday we were off. Yeah. But even before that, when was the last time you were on a stream? I can't remember. Does I anyone can't... remember what my last live stream was? I, I can't remember. I actually, was it not with Dav? It was with Dav. It was with Which Dav. Which was quite a while that ago. That was quite a while ago. And it went down really well. It was reshaping the simulation. Reshaping. Reshaping the simulation. Reshaping the simulation. Um, <laughs> who is that? Who are you doing there? Sean Conrad. Oh, Sean Conrad. Sean Conrad. Just check in. Uh, who's the person next to Steve? I know, right, Shan. Who am I? I haven't been around no. for ages. I am around, He wanders course. about and we let him in sometimes. Yeah. Only sometimes. Um, not all the time. <laughs> but no, but I have been, I've been around. It's just this guy. And Paige, they've been streaming loads. I know, I've taken over the limelight. But you've been so busy, like going to Gamescom, going to Gamescom, and which is uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, then coming back from coming Gamescom. back from Gamescom, <laughs> a lot of He's fun. So busy. Also busy. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be an exciting but I will live have stream. a very special guest uh, this Thursday. Yeah, so like we always say, if you want to see what's happening on live streams, normally on the day we will post about them on our um, live stream thread. Yeah. So you head over to that in our forums. So I want this ship. The Asp Explorer. Why do you want the Asp Explorer exactly? So back on my old account, which is now aptly named Dr. Pigfingers, <laughs> um, Why is it Dr. I had a really nice ship that I used to go out and get materials and um, bits and pieces from Guardian sites. Mm -hmm. And it was my Asp Explorer, and it had a, a beautiful uh, near 60 jump range. Ooh. And I don't have that anymore. Uh, so I need to make a new one. I want to keep my Python, but mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... I'm gonna um, just do this. <gasps> we've got the new one. We've got the new one. So the live stream's a bit misleading because it's like, gotta get the Asp Explorer. Already kind of there. Been, yeah. been quite busy. Um, 
bragging about Thursday seems a bit insulting to man on the left. What's wrong with me? Like, <laughs> what man? I don't see no man. Hey. We. Yeah, we. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it's just it's. I think we're all excited, aren't we? I'm excited. I, I mean, I'm very excited for this. It's been live a long stream. time coming. It's one of those things that this has actually been planned. I think it was actually the first, my first or second week here. We went through some ideas. We had some really fun ones, and this is definitely one of the fun ones. I think. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. It's worth mentioning that you know we like to do serious streams where we get awesome people. Um, we get awesome people on who talk about how the game is made. Yep. We have we have. Um, sort of lovely sort of tourist sightseeing things where Paige goes around the galaxy. Mm -hmm. uh, but let, hang on. <laughs> because I really need to buy this shit and then we, and then this, we'll go then we can go and, and... You can buy that. And I, and I would even say like the, the other interesting streams that we had was the... You, you take it away. The one with the like the featured, like the, all the different commanders from the last six months. Like you find a lot of interesting things out from that from the community perspective as well. Yeah. Um, and then when I did the, 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 um, the hull seals, that was a lot of fun. Mm. It was a really interesting experience for myself to be with some really awesome and fun people. I couldn't get over how hilarious it was Danger Dan was, the commander of Danger yeah, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Like, is I this, just, the, this is the guy who kept forgetting. Yeah, things, forget the right? stuff. Because he said to us, we're going to throw you some curveballs in, and that's all we knew. So like, he, like but he was also really loud at the start of like when we were talking through stuff. He was also really funny. But then when we started, he was like, oh, no, I forgot it. And, and Paige and I just couldn't keep it together. And it's not like we need to be serious on these like streams. Be like, oh no! But at the same time, it was like try and keep a semblance of not breaking down an absolute, um, complete hysteria was the very difficult part for me. Yeah, absolutely. So I've got a build here that I'm, I'm working towards. Mm -hmm. So I just need to check everything. So you're gonna have to bear with me as I stare at stare at the screen like a tiny a, screen. an old boy man. I'm starting to realise that as I get kind of kind of older that I'm I'm squinting a lot more. I think it's, I, I'm hoping it's just because the Maybe screens are getting further away. I, I, I don't know. I used to make fun of my dad for glasses, but now well, I don't need to get Well, them. what's wrong with glasses? Nothing. Steven, let's I just, just talk about this. <laughs> let's, that. let's talk about that. No, oh, it was, yeah. what, What's your beef? There wasn't a beef. When I was growing up, um, I always wanted glasses. My cousins had glasses, and I always, always wanted to have glasses. Um, but then I never needed them, and my sister needed them. So one week, my dad and I made fun of my sister for getting glasses, because that's yeah. what you do. And then the week after, um, we showed up in the, the car and my dad had glasses on. So my sister and I, they made fun of my dad. But ever since then, I always wanted glasses because I think it would shape my face well. Don't ask why. Uh, and then... Uh, We've got glasses in the office. We could try it out. We could try them. We could see. I, could, I don't know what type of glasses I'd get, though. Like, say if it's you, your turn to get glasses, you need to have, like, defining glasses, don't you? I think so. I like sort of 70s style ones. Like big ones? Yeah. That's what I would like if yeah. it was me. Well, like, if the thing is, you've got round, square... If you wear glasses, thin. what kind of glasses do you have? Tell us. Yeah, tell us which glasses we have. What have we, we got have. here? Is this what I want? So what is it you're looking for This then? is fine. This is all good. Well, let's just check this one. So oh, you, uh, yeah. the reason for this is to get a large jump, isn't it? This is exactly it. I'm using this, I'm using this Asp Explorer so I can have it as my little ferry to go around and, and collect materials or go off and, and, and explore stuff. But mainly what I'm doing, because you're taking up some of the combat stuff that I was originally going to do, this is going to be, I'm trying to get to trade, um, I'm trying to get elite in trade, mm. but I want to kind of get, I want to work towards getting, unlocking engineers mm. and um, getting guardian modules and all that stuff. So this is, this is going to be instrumental in that journey too, yeah. to that. Uh, right, I'm nearly done because I've actually hidden the chat. So, so I have no idea what everybody's been saying. <laughs> so what's everyone saying just now? Uh, dig -dig -dig um, so the asp is now fleeting as I use the crate. Crate might have been a, a good choice. Yeah, I mean, crate is a is a is a, a very popular choice. I will give you that. I like I like it too. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think asp explorer has always been one that I've, I've been drawn to. So that's why I'm going with this this little one. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Commander Little Luna, what time will the Thursday live stream be happening? So, like I said, if you head over to our forums, we do announce the times and uh, where they are going to be taking place. But um, most of our Thursdays regularly uh, start at 7 o'clock. Um, no, sorry, 6 o'clock UTC. Is that right? Yep. And 7 o'clock BST. BST. That's the bit that I always get confused time. Is. So, British time. So, that's where they're going to be. Um, um, did I get a badge? 
Well, uh, we have got the badges. Got yeah, the badges. I just um, I forgot. Sorry, if I was by neck. Um, we do have them, and um, I will. I will. We thank you. We thank much. you very much for them, and we will use them when we can. When we can. Um, but yeah, I think what's really interesting, though, um, just apparently made it earlier, was that you were doing a lot of the kind of combat stuff, and I always was quite curious to why you were so eager to release that. Uh, I'm rubbish at it. That's <laughs> why. Generally, it was, it was that face. I thought, oh, he's been doing combat. He won't give it to me. And you were like, yeah, no, you take it. And I was like, that's really kind of you. And I realised now that since I've been playing it, it, it the, bad. the amount of times my ships have blown up, the amount of money I've spent, I can now see why. Oh, but you thanks. need money, and, yeah. and that you know that takes time. But uh, what else am I getting on this? I think I need this. Uh, let's get one of these. Because you're going to be driving about. Oh, this there. Sorry, you've got loads. You've got plenty. This one. Just I wonder if I need more than one. Oh, and your insurance cost is quite high as well, but you look That's like fine. I mean, look at my balance. Oh, I've, look been, at this. I've been busy. So how did you get this balance, William? Uh, well, actually, I was doing it, building, building rep with the old Empire. So now I've unlocked the Empire ships, which that's kind of what I'm going to get when I've got a little bit more money. Mm. So I need to go back and do some more stuff. Yeah, because you just, were... I, I was, yeah, I was just making a lot of money there, but I'm, I'm trying to then sell, like, I want to get loads of um, commodities and sell them all over the place. I think we're good on this front. Have you got everything that you need? You know what I would like? I would like um, this. A detailed surface scanner. I think that would be nice. Be but I think we're, I'm happy with this. You're happy to go? Yes. And where are we going? We are going to... Uh, we're going to the Maya system, actually, first, because it's not that far away. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm doing this. You're putting your... Everything's scanners. a go. Let's just double-check one last time. Mm-hmm. Everything's all good? Yep. Just checking everything's... Fine. Yep, we're getting there. No hard points. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. We're going. So we're going to Maya. Seems to be a lot of good comments here. Um, Bongo Baggin says, make it cold. If you're going to be landing, make it fast. I don't know what that means. Oh. Seems like a really good step by step process. Probably. Yeah. But I. I don't listen to community feedback until when it's too late. Until you make the mistake. Until I make the mistake and then yeah. they're like, what did I do wrong? And everyone was like, we told you ages ago. It makes people feel that they have the right to say, I told you so, which I think is a very satisfying one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Providing people that. Eight jumps. We can get there. We can get there today, guys. Eight jumps. That's not a problem. We're going to Maya. Uh, because I'm right in thinking, now forgive me, uh, I'm right in thinking that uh, I can still buy meta alloys there. Can... You still buy meta alloys and Maya. That's the big question. Because I know we had a thing called the Interstellar Initiatives that changed things around a little bit. But I'm trying to remember if it's if there are still some available. So uh, Astacon says you should be able to. Uh, Shaneri says they are very expensive there. How expensive are they? Yeah. I only need one. It's and just, there's not that many. I, I only need one. I only need one. I mean, you've got a lot of money. Because I'm just going to go and take it to Felicity. Felicity. And then she's going to help you out? She's going to... Uh, that should unlock... That should unlock her... I can't remember if there are any more steps. No, that should unlock her, and then I can um, engineer my... my thing. What am I doing here? So Ubermeg says here uh, that uh, there are... The, they are migrating over PC to get VR. And the reason I'm pointing that one out is recently you tried Elite Dangerous on VR, didn't I you? I did, yeah, I did. Mm. It was really cool. And I don't think I'll ever do it again. No? Because it means then I'll have to fork out the money for a VR set because it's so cool. No, I think I will yeah. one day. It's it's quite it's quite amazing to see. I did get a little sick when I was driving around the SRV, but I think that's normal because I was a very erratic driver. Yeah. But being able to look around while flying, like right now, and I can, you know, do the head look thing, but it's so different. Yeah, it's I mean, so different. You, you do get bad motion sickness. I as do. Well. Mm -hmm. So I get bad motion sickness. I played, I tried to play Doom for like ten minutes at the weekend, and, um, and I had to turn it off, and I had to like put my sensitivity right down because yeah. it was just too much for me. Um, but when I tried the VR. Because uh, you tried it for 
a good 20 minutes. Yeah, I was on it for a while. And then you were like, we were going to get food. And this was at Fantasticon. And uh, you were like, we're going to get food. Oh yeah, Fantasticon happened. But you made me sit down and just do it for like 10 minutes. And yeah, it was, only to experience and it was awesome. Well. I only got like, I only got like two minutes because everybody was hungry and starting to kind of nag at sure. me. But, but I was sitting there and I was like, oh my goodness! And I only got a wee bit of the space experience, but I can see why people really get addicted to it. I can see why yeah. people really enjoy that. Yeah, um, and I really enjoyed it. My uh, my brother in law, he has a VR headset, mm -hmm. and I was I think the only time I used it, I was happy. I had a couple of beers and I played a shooting game. But in comparison to that, this was just a lot of fun. This was like a great experience. Yeah, and, and it's worth mentioning like the, the headset there. It was it was put quite hastily on because we were we were um, sort of rushed. We were getting ready to get, go and get some food because yeah. we hadn't eaten, and the headset like needs to be adjusted. Yeah. And like once it was like like this, it, it was clear and, and it was I fine, see, but yeah. it didn't have enough time um, time to 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 deal with that. In response to Mono's question about PSVR support, we have nothing to announce about PSVR uh, for Elite Dangerous at this time, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. We're just going through some of the questions. Brett, Brett is, if you have seen on the forums, uh, Raxlin notes that Brett is leaving. Uh, he's leaving us, and um, if you haven't heard the news, it's over on the forums. You can go and see what he said, uh, but do, do pass on your messages if yeah. you've ever interacted with him. Uh, wish him luck for the future. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And to, to uh, secondary comment here from Braxton, why so many people leaving from FDev? Uh, I didn't leave. I just joined. You just joined. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's always uh, there's always a shift in, in, in people's goals, where they want to go in life, um, and that's across the board. You yeah. Know? And there's a lot of people joining as well. You just don't really it's see that. Yeah. The, the way it comes in, and especially in the games industry, it's one of the. It's a very Fluctuant industry, I would say. Flu fluctuant. No, fl no fl not a fluctuant industry. It's a it can be a fluctuant. Uh, like it fluctuates. Like a lot of the time when um, sometimes people go to different studios, they find the the things that they want, and then they develop and want more, and then sometimes they like to progress in that yeah, one position. Yeah. It's, it's one of those. It's like for me, I have been in the games industry for nearly three years, and. What I've done is I have changed from QA to marketing mm -hmm. to community management and I helped it with loads of different things and sometimes you just find different paths and where you're going and different futures. It's very like philosophical. 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 No, I think I like, I like the way you put it. Uh, Will, what's happening with Famine State and high grades in general? Nothing to announce about that as Dav kind of sort of mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, We'll just have to just to see. Yeah, and talking about the the dab stream, we did have a thread where we tried to get um, uh, Adam Barkway and Dav Stott in mm. to um, to answer some of those um, questions that, that were on the thread. So mm. if you want to go check that out, there's a lot of information there, and also go back and watch the stream because you need to kind of watch it again to get all the answers because Dav answers quite yeah, a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, if you're um, into the. The, the, the way the simulation works, it can be quite insightful. Mm. If you're like me, um, I don't really question why the wider, why the yeah. matrix that we are, we all live in, the mm. way it works. I just enjoy the matrix. I'm the guy who sold out the guys. <laughs> yeah. you're, the, the you're the guy that's eating the steak. Going, I know that's a steak, and I know it's, it's not real steak, sorry, but I can taste that it's steak. And then you're the guy that sells us out because you don't want to think about that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. It's wrong. It's wrong. Apparently they're bringing out a fourth matrix. Uh, they are apparently, yeah. and it's it's made by the brothers who made the original. Yeah. I was trying to remember their name, um, but I can't. Where are we? Three jumps away. Three jumps away. I haven't even been looking at my fuel, but we're doing fine. I think you think. Yeah, you got plenty of fuel. Um, but yeah. Raxlian, will anything on a possible new frontier expo? Nothing to announce. About frontier expo. Will, are you guys planning to bring out the developer diaries like the days before the game was launched? Those dev diaries were awesome, and this sorely, especially for the coming news. Um, it's certainly a, it's certainly an awesome way to kind of unveil certain things. Uh, we've got Meet the Team right now, which is, is probably a little f further away from what you're sort of after. It's not that um, we're planning them and we've got a schedule for, for dev developer diaries, but as we start talking about 
more stuff yeah. coming to Elite Dangerous. We'll be delving into all sorts of different ways to communicate that information to you, be that live streams, be that developer di diaries, be that um, Stephen posting on his personal Twitter account. Do you know I could have, I, people could, would have rushed to your Twitter page then to see? I know, like, what's going on? Like, I've got lots of friend requests. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, nothing, he hasn't posted anything. No, it's just it's, it's an example. Yes, exactly. And, and this is one of the, the exciting things that we get to do. If we can bring that kind of stuff out, if you guys like it, it's good that we take a note of that and maybe see if we can incorporate it into future streams and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Um, so any kind of ideas, we love that stuff. Uh, Will, you need a button that you can press the place. Nothing to announce at this point. It is worth mentioning uh -uh. that this live stream and these Monday live streams are for us to come and talk to you guys about anything, not just the game, but anything, and to play some Elite Dangerous with you, um, to show off what we're doing in Elite Dangerous at the time. We are going to be, I know, I know people want to know more about everything that's coming and we will in due time mm. talk about that stuff. Um, because we're excited to talk about it as well, but yeah. you know, as, as Paige and I even alluded to on a interview with the honey thief is that these these things they take time how did you feel with your interview with the honey thief because i met him at fantastical and he was a lovely gentleman did you did we meet the same guy no yeah. I'm, joking. Oh, I'm joking i think he's in the chat yeah, he is. <laughs> in the chat. uh no he's he's really nice and i really i really liked the interview because i've done a few not not heaps and heaps yeah. and tons but um I was not really expecting some of the questions yeah. that, that he, he threw at me, and it's quite nice. Mm -hmm. um, what games do you lot play in your free time? Oh, that's Asked a good one. Mono. Well, I know what you play in your free time. What do I play in my You play that game on your Switch all the time. What's it called? Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Oh, I love Fire Emblem. I love Fire Emblem. And Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is kind of my go-to game at the minute. Yeah. Dragon Quest Builders 2. I'm playing a lot of Switch and Grandia. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of lot of things going on. So where am I going here? We're going to we're going to one of the stations. Is it there? Mm -hmm. We're in Maya. Mm. We've made it. We've made it. Nice. We've made it this stream, which is cool. Um, can't remember, can't remember the name of the place. Fire Emblem. As I say, I never played Fire Emblem. My games oh, recently great. have been. Um, I actually started playing Jump Force again, just oh, so yeah, I could unlock, like unlock the characters a bit more. Um, and I didn't know if it was going to do it. It does get a bit repetitive and the loading screens are a bit too much. But um, I have been switching between that and Crash Bandicoot because I want to complete Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot's good. Because I was saying that I have never actually... Um, oh when I played Crash Bandicoot when I was younger, I never had a memory card. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, so when my, my sister and I used to play it every oh, wow, Christmas yeah, yeah. and New Year, and we'd sit and play it, and we'd die. And every time we'd die, we'd have to go back to the start That's and tough. then go for it again. And every year we'd start and we'd do the same levels. And she'd be good at some levels, and I'd be good at other levels, and we'd always just swap between us. So no Without saves. a memory card, though, yep. is quite terrifying. No memory card, yep. And Crash Bandicoot 1. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, and then we eventually got Crash Bandicoot 2. Never really played Crash Bandicoot 3. There's a level in, in Crash Bandicoot 1 which just um, throws me off. What one is it? And I can't get past it. It's, it's one of the later ones when you're going up the castle. Up the castle. And it's got like things that go like that and make you fall and it's raining and it's just really hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, what house did I choose in, in Fire Emblem? I'm, I chose the Golden Deer, but I'm now on my second playthrough. <laughs> And I'm playing all of them, so <laughs> I'll be playing all of them. Yeah. Guys, does anyone know where I'm going? I'm trying to find the meta alloys. I thought it was. It's not here. Hmm. So, um. Am I just blind? What are you looking for? I'm looking for the place. Oh, oh not your system map. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. We can look at it. <laughs> why aren't you open? Yeah, why am I going through your system list? map? Um, yeah, so somebody's even said, is Braveheart every Scott's favourite movie? It's not. I just want to point this out. So Braveheart... It's train spotting, isn't it? Uh, train spotting, yes. <laughs> no, uh, the problem with uh, Braveheart is it's a really good movie. It's really interesting. Um, one, Mel Gibson's not Scottish. Um, two, Braveheart is actually uh, Robert the Bruce. It's not William Wallace. It's not William Wallace. No, Braveheart was actually... Um, On A to Robert the Bruce. A or B. Well, let's go there then. Because that should just come up. Are you finding it okay? Where are you going? 
this is always the tense part because I know that Bill needs his concentration when he's trying to look and do these things because it's really hard to do. You know what? I'm just going to scan the system. It's really hard first. to do when somebody's like playing and trying to talk at the same time and trying to concentrate on this. I'm just going to scan everything, but I don't even know what I bound everything to on here. Okay. Nope. Is it not that one? Is it working? Let's just drop out and scan. Let's just see what we need to do. I've never done this on a HOTAS. What is it we're looking to do? I want to scan. Yeah, so you need to go back to your hard points? Yeah. Yeah, release your hard points. Yeah, I've done that. Down. That Make That's sure. fine. I oh, get that's that fine. bit. It's my FSS. Oh, and um, I bound it. Yeah, you do uh, that one. No, that's my surface scanner. Oh. Where is your FSS then? There it is. It's there. Try. That's. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No. Where is it? Oh, I'm in the. I'm, have, yeah. you, have you seen it? We're all it? good. We're all good. Have no, you seen it? Good. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> go away. There we go. We're all fine. We made it. We made it in the end. Uh, Braveheart is a, a, an amalgamation of Robert the Bruce and William Wallace's story. It is. It is slightly thin, but Robert the Bruce wasn't as involved in much as what they actually portrayed. The better movie to watch is the uh, Outlaw King. It's a bit more accurate. I like The Fisher King. The Great Fisher movie. King. Right, now we can do this. Um, wherever R2 is on this, it's here. Here we go. We're all good. We're all fine. Oh, that's what you were trying to get. Yeah, okay, yeah, I've yeah. got you. It's the first time I'm doing it on this account, actually. Yeah, yeah. This is my PS4 account, by the way, my second PS4 account. And what is the name the of this one, your commander name? Uh, Ratverse. Ratverse. But I've never done it with a HOTAS. So this is going to be interesting. I think you just zoom in. Doesn't it just like moving forward, doesn't it? That one? Oh, no, that's up there. moving it around. <laughs> this is, this is Wait, really fun. Zoom is L1 and R1. So Which that's your, sh your shits, your shitty shitty. Shitty shitty. Right. There we go. We, we found it. We found it in the end. It. Two men and a hotas. <laughs> I'm used to doing it with the controller. There we go. I don't want these. But fine. It's getting, getting used to that. It's quite it used to be really quick. Yeah, it's, it's really. I only tried to use this once and I was trying to look for look that. That's nice. I was trying to look for a signal source, but I couldn't find it. In a post apocalyptic world, what would Will and Steve do to survive? How did we get to the post apocalyptic world? Though? Yeah, yeah, that depends. We need to discuss that. Zombies, robots, famine, um, anything I want to know. If we get, give us some examples and we'll be able to come up. I have a zombie plan. Do you have a zombie plan? I is it not an island? Go to an island. It's there's a there's well this is when I was in Scotland. I really need to think about it again, but I may be able to do it here because there's a an isle in um, an isle of Sark, which is on the English Channel Islands, which we are not too far away from, I believe. Um, I'm listening, Stephen. I'm is, looking for the PS4 controller. Uh, we, don't do we, so we don't have one. Oh, is it downstairs? <laughs> it's another room. Oh. Um, you, can, you, got, you have to learn. You can do this. See, I, I know, but I just can do it quicker. No, I know, but take your time. This is a new. It's a new. Okay, the Brexit. <laughs> Brexit. Uh, Brexit. Brexit. Yeah, that's gonna happen anyway. I'll be fine. I'll just go to Scotland and we'll come back into the Irish passports. <laughs> have you got an Irish passport? Well, I should have. That'll be fine. Um, so, nuclear fallout, well, I think we would just be dead because I don't have a nuclear bunker, do you? I don't. And I don't know, actually. Scottish people have a high tolerance to radiation and stuff, don't they? Like cockroaches? Yeah. Believe By me. the way, I didn't say that. <laughs> just <laughs> just, just clarifying. Uh, is your zombie plan to get eaten? No, uh, my zombie plan is if I could go to like a B&Q and get like a sword of sorts, a weapon a of sword. sorts. A sword? A weapon of sorts. Like a swordy weapon. But you said sword first. No, like a sword you? of sorts. I used to have a sword. I used to have um, this thing from The Hobbit, actually. I actually ordered it and I had it. But uh, that's gone now because I'm not a child anymore. Um, did so it glow? Did it glow when zombies were there? Um, in my mind it did. <laughs> um, what are we talking about? Zombie survival. Zombie survival. So what I do... I'm, I'm in concentration mode. What I do is I then try and make my way to the Isle of Sark, which has got no electricity on it anyway, so it's a self-sufficient island. It's a true thing. They don't have any lampposts or anything. Okay. Um, they do have electricity, but it's, like, sustained on the island. Have you seen... Um, that movie? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Where they go to an island. It's, it's, 
can't remember the name. Is it Hustle. called Island? It's an adult movie. It's not that kind of Whoa. movie. <laughs> not that kind of movie. It's, no, 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 it's no. not for kids. No, it's, yeah, it's, an, it's a scary movie. A scary movie, yeah. <laughs> not, uh, an not an adult movie. Whoa, we're going to some strange places today. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm I sorry, everybody. You yeah, you go to the island, and then you can self-sustain on this island, and you basically cut off entry to the island, and that's it. How do you cut off entry, though? Um, because when you go over there, you just destroy the only way that you get over. Because it's a ferry. The only way you get over is a ferry, and zombies can't. Um, that sounds like ferries that can't Netflix do ferries. Movie that I watched. Zombies, zombies can't do ferries. They don't know how to use ferries. Surely they can just walk on, on the under the under, under the, the water. Under the water. I don't know. Actually, no zombie film is really dictated what would happen. I think the pressure would kill them. Well, you're not supposed to use. You're not supposed to use zombie. So when a zombie outbreak happens, you're mm. not allowed to use existing zombie law in uh. the universe where it out outbreaks. So that's why whenever there's a zombie outbreak in a zombie movie, they don't go, oh, these are zombies and we know how to deal with them because you're not allowed to. That's uh, the rule. They're always going to be like walkers or something. Yeah, like or like they don't know, they've never seen zombies before. Look yeah. at that, beautiful. That is lovely. Actually. See, that's the, that's the thing though. Um, I think with zombies, would they, like if you actually think about what happens to a zombie, his body starts deteriorating. It's like a corpse, like a walking corpse. Yeah. So how long does it take for a corpse to rot? So then I I wouldn't possibly know. And, and anyone who says otherwise, they're that, lying. That graveyard game. <laughs> Do you? I was playing that graveyard game, but that was not accurate. Yeah. To real. Does anybody know how long it takes for a body to decompose? Um, <laughs> That's the question. Yeah, well, no, because if you think Jesus. about it, you only have an amount of time for people to really. They, like, as soon as the zombies decompose, you'll be fine. What if, though, it's like The Walking Dead? Which, spoilers, but it's been out so long now. Yeah, there is a, there is a time, isn't there? Yeah, um, you, you turn into a zombie if you die, so everybody's infected. Yeah. You just have to come up with a really good plan of getting rid of the zombies. We're really, this is <laughs> taking its time. Stephen, can you look in that cupboard for me <laughs> no, I'm while I do this? Sorry, guys. This is uh, I have to go get back soon. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll still be here. Oh, I felt bad. Sorry, guys. I just moved the What? On. I'm just, I want to bring a controller in. Oh, there's one here. Yes. But I still don't know how much power it's got. That's yeah. fine. We have a cable. Do we have a cable? Maybe. This is the, his behind this <laughs> So we're going to continue talking about zombies. Um, zombies and all things while I do this. Yeah. So what is it, what are your guys' zombie plans? I want to know because apparently mine's not got a lot of favour. It's dead. I told you it's dead. You need to plug it in. <laughs> is the what? No, there's no wire here. Oh, wait, you can use this wire. Maybe pull it out of the PC. We are professionals. Um, oh my god, it works. Are you guys on lunch break? Is this work? This is work, actually. This is work. Yeah, so um, basically these streams are Let's Plays. They're meant to be us having a bit of fun, talk to you guys, you guys talk to us about anything really, not, not much for the game. Uh, I'm jealous, Humanity and Conflicts, that it's lunch for you, because normally when it gets to these streams we get a wee bit peckish and quite hungry. Well, I, yeah, my, my stomach starts to rumble. It does rumble a little bit. And that's the only problem with some of these streams, is that everyone starts talking about food, and it's not fun. It's a nice topic though, isn't it? It is a nice topic. Food's a good topic, but it's also extremely stressful when you're starving. Okay, we're back in the room. We're back! I can get... Right. Okay. I've forgotten how to do it. I'm a zombie in the mornings. I'm also until I get a coffee. As soon as I get caffeine, I'm fine. I'm a zombie now. Because you're trying to find... What is it you're trying to do, William? I'm trying to find Danielle's... Darnell's? Danielle? Danielle's? Danielle's? I'm trying to find this place just to buy one metro alloy. So rather than going to a barnacle site, I just thought I'd buy them, because it'd be quicker. Yeah. How foolish I was! And now you're trying to find Nathan. There's one of his hub. One hub, sorry. A lot of go there's a lot going on here. Mm. I like page, uh, high pages and so it's church, big doors, windows are usually high up so not easy to break through and usually built sturdily. That's true. They also have secret passageways though. Yeah, and they have the crypt. They have the crypt. Yeah, so it's it's depending, on the, depending on the, the zombie situation. Yeah, it'd also be quite cold, I think, in there. 
You could warm it up though, couldn't you? Because yeah. you, because it's probably not going to catch fire if you made a little fire on the ground. Well, you could make you could make a nice wee fire. Oh, is it? Day. Is it? It's on the pl a planet's surface. Ah. Well, it's fine. We'll do all this. So how are you supposed to find it there? Well, this is all fine right now. We're if skeletons got revived, I don't think I think I could take a skeleton. Are they spooky? Are they spooky? I don't know. I think it depends. A lot of things. Like I was watching um, Scary Movie Three last night. <laughs> I've not seen it in a while, and I just watched it because it's a bit of fun. And when we're watching it, it's that moment where the ring comes out of the TV oh, no. and she starts fighting it. Yeah. And I really think I think I would try and if, I, if it was really that bad, I would try and fight them. You like, can't fight it though, can you? Because it's a it's a. She did well in the movie. She did well in the movie, <laughs> but it's like a cosmic. Um, being, I still think you got to try. Well, I think flight, flight or fight, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> are th do you notice that my responses are just contributions that have no weight to them? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm trying to, Did you concentrate? I'm just trying to concentrate. Thing. So yeah. I'm just saying that sounds right in my head. Yeah, people will be this fine. Is how most conversations That'll go with fine. me, anyway. Isn't it? No, I uh, I started a zombie plan years ago because I watched the. Have you ever seen Red versus Blue? Uh, I I know it. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen it. But For everyone who's not seen it, it's the Halo heads, the Halo guys, and they sit and talk together. And it was made by Rooster Teeth. Um, yeah. It was quite a funny show. But that's what basically um, one of the episodes about is a, is a zombie plan. Um, and from there, I always tried to make sure that I had a zombie plan. It's be beneficial. I'm not insane. It's I mean, zombie virus is kind of real. Anyway, there is a real zombie. So virus. yeah. Um, so what? Um, so there's a virus. Have you played The Last of Us? Yeah, yeah, that that's that's like a parasitical fungus. Yes, though, isn't it? and it's based on a real parasitical fungus that exists that and exists. takes over ants. It's not just ants; it's other kind of bugs as well, and it takes them it's up. A and lot it, of arrows it, here, and it takes them up to the uh, to the the um, that it possesses them. Basically, it goes into their brain and makes them go to their hive or whatever, and then releases spores to cordyceps. Thank cordyceps, you very much. Cordyceps, yeah, like like most parasites, though, right? But yes, but these ones actually control the body when it's deceased, so it kills oh. them and then controls the brain, which is wow. technically what a zombie virus does. So basically, with that, it's usually found in spiders and mantises, etc. It, it, That's terrifying. It's well, so it's real. So it's a real virus. So if it ever did develop and actually start becoming a strain to then come into humans as well, um, it would it could actually evolve into that. See. Learn something every day. <laughs> um, Zombie plan, fact or fiction? You decide. <laughs> fiction. I don't know. It's true. It's a real thing. Uh, I just, I just, why, why have I done this? Zombie. I, I was like, oh, I'm going to get back to Fel Felicity Farcia in no time. This live stream, absolutely easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Didn't account for a 50, 50 bodied system, did I? Oh. Um, some fish toxins can create a zombie-like state, apparently used in Haiti. Yeah. What was that? How did you say that? Haiti? I don't know. Haiti? Uh, Haiti? 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 I think. Haiti? Um, so, I, uh, Commander Miggle says, I always enjoy watching people try to come up with a way that I survive more than six months in a zombie apocalypse. Well, that's it. Like, just surviving the, the beasts is one thing. But then, then living. Then living, yeah. power, things we take for granted here, food, water. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what's the social social stuff too? Yeah, the mentality. I mean, I'm struggling. It's a great being... game. There's a great game out there mm. that I played a lot. Has anyone played this? Project Zomboid. Has anyone played this? No, played Big project. fan of this. No. Takes takes a bit of The Sims, but puts but puts it also in a zombie survival game. So you have to manage your mood, you have to manage like your food, your drink. It's more, and I think the tagline was back then, it's like, it's not how long you survive, it's how long it takes you till you die. Ah. And like, so you play the game and over, over like the period of the game, in, in game time, um, it's really great. Uh, you can build stuff and, 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 and all, that, all of that. But um, after a while, the electricity will go. So you can no longer turn on lights. And it's got light sensors, it's amazing. Can you use like solar power? But there are. I don't know where it is now. There were there were ways to like you could get a generator and, and stuff, for example, mm -hmm. and you then yeah. have to go and get fuel. And it's really good. 
Um, but it just makes you think about it, and you maybe you should test your plan in that. I don't but it's great it because if you get bitten, you kind of it's game over, but it's not game over straight away. So you kind of either run into the crowd or you keep going and see how long you can. Yeah. And you can restart a character on that map, so you can go and find your old base, but you don't have your skills and stuff. Ah, that's that's really good. good. That. So it was what was that? There was a really interesting movie that was brought out. I never, I never seen that, and it's like a horror. And it's the guy who's in, um, he's Watson in the British Sherlock Holmes. Um, and then he's also Bilbo Baggins in the new Yeah, yeah. Thing, is, it, um, <laughs> is there the horror? What's his name? I can't remember his name. It's, oh. If anybody remembers the actor's name. But he basically, he's going with his wife and it's, there's a zombie. Uh, Martin Freeman. That's oh, it. I've seen it. Yep. It's good. Is it good? It is good. It looked very it interesting. It was good. It was enjoyable. It's quite an interesting concept that you get bitten, you've got a certain amount of time, in it, but he had to get his baby to like... Yeah, it's quite good. Yeah. It's quite good. I don't know. I struggle with those movies. I don't like movies that make me feel something. <laughs> I just like... I just like... Should be, should be all movies, really. <laughs> I know. No, I just like explosions and stuff. Oh. Quite, it's quite simple. Has anyone seen Dark Crystal? Is on it? Oh. the movie as, as well as the new Netflix series. I, I have only watched episode one, but I'm hooked. I'm in. And I've seen Cargo. That's the name of, that's the, name of the movie. Yes. Um, but I, I, I like it anyway. I've always, I've always enjoyed it. Um, what was? Did you see the movie then? The Dark Crystal movie. Yeah. Yes, I have. I have previously. Mm. Um, but then I also really liked the series. Ah. See, Brains I, just catching up. I, 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 this, I, um, I, I noticed that. No, um, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel that. I, I feel like I've never seen it. But what I do like, um, I used to love like Fraggle Rock and stuff. That was like Muppets for me. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Do you remember Fraggle Rock? No. No? Fraggle Rock. Does anybody remember Fraggle Rock? Fraggle Rock was like um, kind of Muppets and they were in like this like um, cave kind of thing and they were like Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Where is it guys? This is where, this is where it happens. Let's go right to the top. There! Finally. Have you got it? Let's and then go. we get to go there. How was your landing, your uh, planetary landing? Find out, won't we? <laughs> I'm going to leave it on this for the moment. It stresses me out. Right, I'm back in the room. Everything's fine. Have you guys seen Event Horizon? I have seen Event What's Horizon. What's Event Horizon again? It's a uh, vampire zombie thingy. You should, uh, you should check it. it out. Yeah. The last vampire zombie thingy I saw was Priests. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. not. It's, it's in, it's, it's it's in space. It's ah. in Mars, I believe. Or a space station. I can't remember its ages. Fraggle Rock has the best intro ever. I enjoy it, but I think the best intro ever from when I was younger was Extreme Dinosaurs. Can it was like death. Show me Fraggle. Fraggle. Fraggle Rock. Rock. Fraggle Rock. I vaguely remember. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I ever watched this. But I mean, I don't think it was as good as the the pup, muff, the puppets. The puppets. You, the puppets. Pu -pu 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 muffets. No, not the muppets. The puppets. The puppets. The puppets that you in have. Dark Crystal. Yeah, in Dark Crystal. But oh, um, that's Jim Henson's workshop. It is gorgeous, though. They are gorgeous. Those ones. They're really creepy, though. I don't like how they don't have a chin. Well, I mean, you've got uh, you know they're different life forms, aren't they? A delfling. Yeah. It's just weird because you can't see like the faces move. It makes me just feel awkward with puppets sometimes. It's I just an puppets. awkward, it's an awkward feeling. It's a really awkward feeling. Uh, great film, Event Horizon. Random ah. trivia, it was originally intended to be a Doom prequel. I enjoyed Doom. The first, the first Doom um, the movie was actually, I enjoyed it. It was kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I loved the bit at the end when they went into first person as well. It was a really good one. Um, Event Horizon scared the poop out of me. <laughs> One of the biggest mind melters I've ever seen. We're here. Oh, we're got there. It's gonna go so. Light. This is it. I want to see how you behind how you do this. Because for me, I struggle getting in unless I go upside down, and then I always get annoyed. It's good. It's good to always see your oh. target. Yeah. And then whenever I fly so towards it, it's like the wrong side of the planet. So spicy streams. I. I was gonna do. I was gonna go to a barnacle site to do this, but I'm just. I'm doing it the easy way. This was supposed to be the quick way, because I was like, I'm on a live stream. I'll do. I'll do, get it done quickly. Turned out it's taken us the whole live stream. 
but we're getting we're there. Actually, we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, yeah now. Well, that was like with the the live stream with the um, the whole seals, uh, which if you never saw, it, uh, it's still on our YouTube channel. You can check it out. You absolutely should. And um, you should. It's it great. Was really interesting. The guys are really interesting, and they're awesome. very informative as well. And there's a lot of stuff, and it's good to know like, to go on their website if you ever have that that trouble as well. But um, Towards the end, I was really struggling to get iron. I was really struggling to pick it up. And I had about five minutes left and I had to pick it up. Um, and I got there just in the end. So normally when the live streams come down, you feel like you've not got a lot of time, but you do, you've got this. You can, you can get it. I believe in you. Please don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I was for a minute. I was almost there, like, you're not really seeing where I'm going. I'm a bit far. So what is, what is the best space horror movie that you've seen? And guys, what's your favourite horror, uh, space horror movie? Uh, Alien. Surely it's Alien, everybody. Is Alien, Alien is the best. One, two, three. The first one. The first one. The first. The first Alien is probably yeah, Alien. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Iron Sky. Iron Sky. <laughs> is that a horror movie? I don't know if it's. I mean, it could be in some cases. I'm going quite slow here. I might need to go back up. I think one of the things that really scared me was that. It was actually a Doctor Who episode and in space, and the people started all going insane. But I know that that's a different kind of like I know there's movies like that as well. Is like people start going insane on, on the, oh, and the aircrafts and stuff. What's the Cloverfield the paradox? It was quite fun. I I mean, it was it was problematic. Yeah. I didn't enjoy the first Cloverfield. It was a bit too much. I didn't really get what was going on. It wasn't as linear as I could follow the process. Oh, it's it's not. Exp it's got explosions. Yeah, but. There's also too thought. complex. Yeah, too complex. Again, Pacific Rim is probably one of the best movies to just sit and watch for explosions. It's got monsters, it's got uh, robots that just fight each other, doesn't matter, um, and it's got a great speech from Idris Elba, which I used once. In so the these are all the, the top is, points. These are the top points. Yeah. So it has all, oh no. You're dropping it and see this is the stress will fire. <laughs> uh, you're good, you're good. Glades engaged, stick in the blue, stay in the blue. Yeah, yeah, but it's below me, isn't it? Yeah, but you can then pull back around at least. Yeah, sure. Keep going down. I <laughs> watched The Last Jedi, that's pretty epic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a different type of horror. <laughs> have you seen the trailer for the, I the new one? I have to admit. Um, I like Star Wars, I do. I like it. Yeah. I, 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 I really enjoyed watching them when I was mm. younger. I just don't know if I need to see every single Star Wars movie you, now. You, I have not seen uh, and I like Han them. Solo. That's the only one I've not seen is Han Solo. I actually liked Solo. Do you know why? why? Because it gives, uh, it's the first, first 15, 20 minutes of the movie. You get to see a bit around the world yeah. and what it's like under galactic rule or uh, empire, empire rule, imperial rule. And do you enjoy that? Well, I don't <laughs> like, enjoy yes, the yes, 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 I, I, I thought it was nice to see those allegories there, which yeah. were missing from 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 the other movies. But um, as John Calderon says, you could probably pass on them. See, that's the thing for me. I um, and people are going to hate it. I grew up with watching the first, second, and third one. So when I was young, episode one. Episode one. So episode one was in the cinema. So we went to see it in the cinema. And the second and third. And my, my dad's not really into movies, my mum's not really into movies. So it wasn't until I kind of watched them and I went back and started watching movies myself that I then watched the original four, five, and six. Now, I'm not saying any of them are better or worse because that'll come into a debate that I don't want to get into. Um, but I enjoyed watching them and watching the original ones. Mm, absolutely, you watch what you enjoy. I enjoyed Rogue One. That was really good. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know that the last two, the first, the the second one, the, sorry, the, what, what is it now? The, so from the, this season's, this version of it, the second one for me was a bit meh, but also enjoyable. But I wouldn't say that I'd go and see it again. I've not watched it since. Star Wars. I was trying to land. Still Star Wars. You've got this. But, um, I'm still a Star Wars fan, I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. Like I like the universe. I just don't know if I need to see any more movies. Yeah. I think I think I want to see the last one, but I, this time I don't think I'll go to the cinema for it. 
Do you know what is out on Friday? Yes. Is uh, the second it re of the remake? I've never seen the first remake. Apparently, it's good. It's good. I mean, I'm a big fan. This is something I watched when I was younger a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have been, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, but it was good. My, sis my sister was really young, and my mum went out <gasps> and left her with her granddad. Do you have them? one left? Is that all you need? Only one? Yeah. That was Imagine close. if I'd got that. <laughs> and there was nothing. There was nothing left. That was quite a good landing as well. Yeah, I know. I just did it. I just did it. So, Lisa, I didn't want to make a big deal of it. That right, we've it. got what we need. So now, we're going to meet up with Felicity Farsi. But yeah, no, the, the app was taught, um, my um, my mum and I, when my sister was really young, I think she was probably about five or six, we left and um, we left her with my granddad who fell asleep and he, he, he was there with the TV remote, couldn't change the TV remote and she watched the whole movie of it when she was about six the, or seven. The or made for TV one, yeah? Uh, Which was really good as well. Yeah. I really like that one. Yeah, so she watched the whole, the whole movie. And she was like six or something. She came back, she was crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just terrifying. <laughs> and she was like a child. Absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Poor child. Poor child. I know. It explains a lot now. She's quite terrifying now. So She's sense. terrifying herself. Yeah. My sister has um, has a certain uh, look and quality of, of somebody that you should be feared. Is she from. dressed as a clown? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. She's into like rock and everything like that, and heavy metal, and uh, she's got her own heavy metal band. Uh, right. And she shaves the side of her head, and there's tattoos on her head and her back, and sounds alright. Picks eye contacts, and she's just a bit terrifying. I just think she's like spawn of Satan, but that's me personally. It's my sister. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's you need the sibling rivalry. That's she important. She that is be. important. Yeah. Um, so, folks, we've got ten minutes left of today's show. Tell us what you're doing in life and Elite Dangerous for the rest of the week. Let us know what you're up to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just nice to know what people are doing. We've yeah. had some really cool chats and I feel like it's been happening all around me, but I've not really been a, a, around because I've been like, focused. I need to, I need so to focused. do this. And I, we've done it, we've got where we need to, so I just need to get to, how many jumps is this actually? Twelve jumps away. Gamora is. Uh, she sounds great. She is great. She's not too bad. I can't remember anything. We're she not, sounds nice. Yeah. We're, we're not. We, we, we intentionally are not nice to one another. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. important. Don't you don't want to let that. Don't have feelings about your siblings. No, oh, it's weird. Yeah. So getting fed rank for Corvette by Brian M. That's what he's doing. That's a good idea. Getting fed rank. Yep. For Corvette. I've just done this with Imperial. How far is your Imperial rank? It's, it's, it's not maxed, but it is where it needs to be for the ships. Mm -hmm. uh, 1% into Duke. You're a Duke. There you go. I've not ranked up yet. I'm still, I am, I upgraded from mostly harmless though. That was in a previous stream. That was quite good. I'm not harmless. I'm not harmless. I'm not competent. Competent <laughs> is a good, is a good I was step. The, the terms are quite, you know, you're like, I'm competent at fighting. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't confident. really. It doesn't really um, spur the fear into your bounty or anything. Not yet. Is it? But no. Every bounty on Vesta starts somewhere. That's true. Tokuso is saying at the Witch Head sector, seeing the new stations. Mm -hmm. um, Uber Meg is specking up a PC so we can move from PS4 to VR. Yeah, that's good idea. Getting ready for school. Running around in my Imperial Cutter. Go to school in your Imperial Cutter. <laughs> that would be quite cool. <laughs> I think that was a life, Anna. And, uh, Which okay. one's real? Though? Which one's real? Whatever you wanted to Working be. during the day, helping the burpit with BGS stuff in the evenings. Ooh. Denmark saying killing scouts, which had Nebula got to ac got access to Chloe. Nice. Mm, nice. It's really exciting to see what everybody's doing. It is nice because everybody's up to loads of different things, which is always it was always awesome to see. Yeah. Trying to get to Colonia for 2k away from Seoul and realised that I have four light year jump range. I'm crying at the moment, it's painful. So this is what spurred on Little Luna to, to empathise you, with you. Mm. This is what spurred on today's live stream, or at least where I'm at, up to in my, my journey, is that I was making my way to, I think I was making my way to like a Guardian Ruin. And I realised, actually, the jump range on this is pretty low. Hey, I know what works with good jump range, getting my asp up. So I've, um, I've bought my asp, mm -hmm. got my meta alloy, I'm about to unlock some Felicity Farseer. 
and then gonna engineer some stuff so I can zip around the galaxy because I've missed it because on my other PlayStation account I can go really far and fast <laughs> easily. Anyway. Uh, I actually have the similar thing as well that I uh, over engineered and made my ship jump four light years as well and then I had to bin it. Well, I had to get a I just, just sold it all. I got a hauler and then I flew it back. Oh yeah, I got a hauler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not that it's still touchy on me at all. Uh, it's not just still, get over it. I can't get over it. It was, it was a bad mistake. Uh, Astacon uh, may, raised 150 quid for a special nice. effect last month. Fantastic. Nice. Great charity to, to raise money for. Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. planning a 50 mile cycle ride soon too. <sighs> 50 <sighs> miles. We'll cycle up. 2.4 miles to work a day. Do you? Yeah. So you do it in a. But it's not one long run, no, is it? It's not one run. One, one long run. And I think like d after doing it, so when I get to like Wednesday, I get really tired and I can't be bothered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's the thing is like doing that 50 mil is is going to be intense, but it's a lot of fun. Apparently, it's really nice doing it when you're out on a bike after eventually a time you don't feel your legs do anymore. You know, I heard 50 mil. 50 mil. 50 mil. Because of your mile. Your oxant. My oxant. My mile. Mil. 50 mil. Doing 50 mil on a bike. I do 50 mil on a bike. Um, so there you go. Let's see what else people are doing. Out in the black on my main account. Second account was recent reset. Recently reset. I just went down to the Elvira route instead of traditional Farsi route. Mm. Interesting, actually. I have been tempted to reset recently. Not why? Not from a vulture when I had the issue. Um, no. Are you? Mm. But I didn't. And it's actually getting to that point now that I don't want to reset. Don't reset. But even when you it gets bad, reset. but when it gets so bad, I'm just like, maybe I should just. But start you can again. always, you can always pick it back up. You can. You've but got capital. No, you, you kind of, yeah, you do. But at the same time, you start going, maybe if I just did this better the first time around. But then just learn from it and don't do it again. I think the SOTAS is on the fritz. Why? I oh, know it's probably just every now and then it'll go. It's because you're moving it. Well, it'll go to the left ever so slightly. Yeah. Yeah, because doesn't it try and all put it to any bit in the thing? Yeah, I'm not it's because I don't need to do it. Nah. That's green. That's one. Yeah, it's green in front of us. Yeah. So do you think we're going to make it back in town? I don't know. I don't know. How many so. jobs do you have left? Find out. Let's go. Six jumps. I might make it. Six jumps. And uh, you have four minutes left to go. We can, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Oh wow, so Silver Duke of Edinburgh Award. 30 mile hike, fully self-sufficient for three wow. days. Oof. Uh, that, is that, so when, forgive my ignorance on this, Mono, but is that, is that stopping off at like little areas in, uh, like little cabins and stuff, or is that just on your own in the wild? Um, I think you get like, as far as I'm aware, you have to do it and you get like a set route, but you have to like train, train for it. Still, uh, it. yeah. I did, uh, I once stupidly tried to do, do you know the West Highland Way? No. So the West Highland Way starts from like the centre of Scotland, m near Glasgow area, and it starts and it goes all the way up to Ben Nevis. Yeah, it? yeah. Um, so that's quite quite a journey. Uh, and my friends and I, we tried to do it through work. We were going to try and see how far we could get. We had the week off work and we went to do it. But foolishly, I was with two young, fit guys um, and my brother-in-law and I tried oh to do God it. Um, yeah, they basically wanted to do it in five days while carrying all of our stuff and uh, uh, basically pitching our tents and just kind of wild camping rather than booking anything to try and keep the cost down. Yeah. So we went to do it and the first day we did about 20, 25 miles. We walked 25 miles and then we were in so much pain that we just went to the pub. Yeah. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll drive to the end. For yeah, you there. and then uh, we went home. <laughs> we couldn't do it after that. <laughs> he sprained his ankle. He actually had to, we had to go to the doctors because he thought he broke his ankle. And I was just um, totally destroyed. I was for, for like two or three days. I was bed bound. That's the concern. That's good going. Yeah, I mean, I, if I was to do it again, I would probably um, definitely either start further away, so like because you can get a train up and then walk to back, so that it feels that you don't have a choice. Or I would definitely plan it a wee bit better and get them to take my bags because they do a service where they take your bags. Or I would take less. I don't know. It's very difficult to do. It's good fun though. I I will I will opt for staying in bed. In bed? You not like or, the outdoors? I like the outdoors. I just don't know if I want to feel painful when no, I'm out there. It's not worth it. Like a nice walk around a mm. lock. A lock would be good. Or something. No, that's good. Feels good. Might be. Might be all right. Yeah. 
It's very nice to do. I recently went up, um, oh, where was it called? No, it's a nice hill, anyway. And it wasn't too hard to hill. Yeah, so it was like a hill, like a, a, normally the hills or the um, Munro's or whatever you, you'd walk up. So we went up a nice kind of wee hill. Um, and it was really nice and it was just beautiful to see when it was up and sunny in Scotland because it's not normal for that to happen. Oh, you're being interdicted. Oh no, don't take this you can off do it. me. You can do it. It's all about being calm, although the red's high. No, you can do we're this. fine. But this is going to... Um, this is going to be meaning we might not make it to our destination. We're fine. We'll get there. We do have a minute to go. How many jumps do we have? Two. Two? We think we can do it, do you? Do you guys think we can do it? Two more jumps. I just want to get to the location. And then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. I can unlock it. You should be and The ready. next time you see me, I'll have an engineered frame shift drive and I'll be on my way to a Guardian site. Wow. That's my plan. Is Will it go to plan? Now you think of what I'm going to do next. My plan was to, to get a Vulture and I've got one. That's it. So now, yeah. Then I need to be like, what's next? Get my... I, I'm, I'm still trying to get better at, bo at bounty hunting, but I need to put a lot more work into it. You need Lyra. Yeah. You just practice. Just practice. Me he says, I don't know, I'm a bit rubbish at fighting. The ultimate goal is to get, uh, is definitely to get a Mambo and try and do some racing stuff. Mambo. Yeah. That's what we're calling it. A Mambo. A Mambo. <laughs> we're in the Mambo in the live stream. It's the Mambo. Number the five. Frontier Mambo. <laughs> um, Small potato gold stegs. Did Orange Spark just call you stegs? Did you call me stegs? I'm not stegs. Steven? It's so nice. There's so many people that have actually put me and stegs together. And it turns out in, in life, we're actually really good friends. Awkward. We're really good friends in real life. So we take that both as a compliment. I think it's just the beard and the hair, really, to be honest with you. Oh. The man's got cats. I can't, I can't be friends with him. Oh, yeah, you don't like animals, do you? I do like animals. I really like animals. Although I had a really strange experience. I went to the, to the, uh, to the zoo. And in it, you can walk in and the bats fly over you. Oh, I love that. That's horrible. That's, That's horrible. Great. How do you like that? I love that. They just they just fly at you and the wings hit the They'd back never of your head hit and you. stuff. They'll it never did. hit you. I, I got water or or guano. Or gu guano. Guano. Yeah. I was definitely like Ace Ventura, like running about going, Chicago, like running about. <laughs> uh, guys, we've made it to this year, and I'm afraid that is all we have time for today. Oh, oh, this, oh, 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 you, you, I'm going, me, we're you. going back. We've okay. made it to this year. We did. This year, this year, this year, I think it's this year. Is it this year? I don't know, what, someone will, on the dev team will tell me <laughs> off for getting it wrong. <laughs> this year. Uh, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. That's been a lot of fun. We've got what we needed, so we can continue our, our route to engineering mm -hmm. in the near, near future. Um, they, everybody wants us to just keep going. <laughs> Shall we just play? No, we've got to eat, guys. We've got to go to and eat. do other things, exciting things and not exciting things. Um, anything you'd like to say before we close up for today? Just, uh, again, if you want to check out any more of our streams, Thursday at mm. uh, 7... No, 7 BST and 6 UTC. Uh, PM. Will be PM. PM, not AM. Uh, we will be uh, doing another live stream. And yep. if you want to check out our forums, we'll be there. Uh, you'll see That's some fine. announcements to check that out. Yeah. But other than that... Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you all on Thursday, hopefully. And if not, on Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.